The bench press is the first exercise. The weight to be used will be 225 pounds. The test taker may receive a lift off from a spotter if they choose. When setting up the bench to perform the exercise, applicants may utilize an arch. However, the glutes, shoulders, and head must touch the bench. When grabbing a bar, the applicant may use whatever width they deem appropriate. However, the applicant will wrap their thumbs around the barbell. No suicide grip is allowed. The applicant's feet must remain on the deck. Once the weight is unracked, a proper rep consists of controlling the barbell down to the chest, touching the chest, and then pressing the bar off the body until the elbows are locked out. The applicant continues this process until they reach failure, at which point they will rack the weight. Applicants will not bounce the barbell off the chest. They must ensure that they touch their chest and lock all repetitions out at the top. Additionally, the feet will remain in contact with the deck and the head, shoulders, and butt will remain on the bench. The next exercise is the behind the neck shoulder press. The weight used will be 135 pounds. The test taker may receive a lift off from a spotter if they desire. When sitting up, the applicant must ensure their back is in contact with the bench or seat and that their feet are planted on the deck or if the equipment they're using has a feet placement platform, they may utilize that as well. To focus on the shoulders, the bench seat should be set at a 90 degree angle, if not using military press rack. Additionally, applicants must ensure they are not leaning too far back, converting the shoulder press into an inclined bench type of exercise. The bar may be gripped at whatever width the applicant deems appropriate. Once the weight is unracked, a proper rep consists of controlling the barbell down so that it is even with the tops of the ears and behind the head of the applicant, then pressing the bar vertically overhead until the elbows are locked out. The applicant continues this process until they reach failure. The applicant will ensure the barbell is even with the top of the ears at the bottom of the reps. Because if the rep is not down to the ears, the repetition will not count. Applicants will also ensure that they lock each repetition out at the top of the movement. Their feet will not come off the deck or platform, nor will their butt come off the bench or seat. After that, the applicant will move on to the strict barbell curl. The weight used will be 115 pounds. The test taker will grab the bar at a width outside of their hips, but not so belligerently wide as to take too much focus off the biceps. The applicant's feet can be together or shoulder width apart. The applicant must stand straight up and not bend over so as to shorten the range of motion. To perform a proper rep, the applicant will curl the bar to a point at least nipple height and then control the weight down and fully lock out the elbows at the bottom of the rep. The applicant will continue this until they reach failure. The applicant is not to swing or rock their body to generate momentum, nor should they bounce the barbell off their thighs. The last exercise is the barbell back squat. The weight used will be 315 pounds. The applicant may utilize a belt for this portion of the test if they so choose. The applicant may use whichever hand grip, width, or foot width they deem appropriate. Once the applicant unracks the weight, they will complete as many reps as they can until failure, at which point they will rack the weight. A proper rep requires the applicant to descend into the hole until the crease of their hips is even with or below the top of the knee. At this point, the applicant will drive themselves up out of the hole and stand straight up. Not squatting low enough will cause the rep not to count, so no quarter rep or half squats. Again, the crease of the hip must be even with or below the top of the knee joint. Additionally, applicants must ensure they stand up and lock each repetition out. The big takeaway is that we value quality form and good repetitions over sheer numbers. We would rather work with an applicant who has impeccable form and has 12 to 15 repetitions over one who does not do the reps correctly in order to get a higher number. Good form will ensure that you remain healthy and lay the foundations to get stronger. Also, put out on your strength test. We owe to applicants who did strength test submissions but stop themselves well before they reach technical or muscular failure. If you're not going to put out an application, why would we think you'd push your limits once you get here? There are no shortcuts to hard training, attention to detail, and effort. This is the Body Bear Strength Test. If this opportunity interests you and you believe you have what it takes, reach out to us at the contact information listed below. Ooh, Marines.